Welcome to Alchemical Science. I'm Jordan, an open source researcher, alchemist, and a student of the inventor and vortex fusion specialist Malcolm Bendel. This is the next interview in the Miami Plasmoid Road Trip interview series. Uh, this one is with Kieran Swords, Roger Green, and Lanson Jones, who are all, all respectively involved in the business and production side of the rollout of Malcolm Bendel's Thunderstorm Generator. So. This is just a little bit of an update in that area. I hope you enjoy the interview. There is still some more to come. Uh, great stuff. So stay tuned. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. So we're here in Miami, um, here to discuss the latest goings on with Malcolm Bendel's thunderstorm generator. There's some exciting things happening. And I'm sitting here with Karen Swords, Roger Green, and Lanson Jones. And they all have a part to play in this uh, exciting new venture uh, that's about to be rolled out. So uh, first, we're going to hear from Karen on the manufacturing side of things. Oh, cool. So um, brilliant to be here. Thanks a million. It's an honor to be here. And uh, it's great. So many people have flown in from all over the world to join us this special weekend. We've just come from London and uh, we were over in Atlanta and Clearwater in Florida and now Miami. Um, this is a big push and it's the last push, the last drive to get this fantastic release very, very soon next year. So my background is in tool making and precision engineering and manufacturing. Um, and I got involved in this several months ago. I met Malcolm and I saw the technology and... Um, I didn't understand it, but I was blown away with the benefits of it to mankind. And I'm all about getting this stuff into society. And um, so I'm very happy to use all my contacts, no matter, you know, from all sorts of quarters, for manufacturing, for prototyping, for research, development, um, for uh, investment, and indeed bring in marketing, strategic um, business plans, and all that side of it. So I'm basically, even though I'm an engineer, I have a lot of skill sets for international business, a lot of experience dealing with corporations. And uh, there's a lot of excitement going on right now with a lot of deals being worked up. And you'll hear more about that very soon. Oh, incredible. Very exciting. So glad to have you. And Roger. Hello. Hello. How are you? Good, good. So I've been running the Breakthrough Technologies company for the last 20 years. And... Uh, you know, we've been involved with uh, a number of implosion technologies. And of course, the thunderstorm is uh, an implosion technologies. So I've been involved with hydrogen and also one of the early investors in coal fusion. And uh, I met Bob Grinier, who uh, everybody knows here. He's sort of the go-to guy for a lot of uh, due diligence and um, scientific inquiry. And so I met um, uh, uh, Malcolm earlier this year. And uh, I've got sort of actively involved with the thunderstorm. The idea being that we kind of find uh, categories of industry. For instance, uh, we're going to be taking the thunderstorm to Dubai and doing a demo in the cement factory. Because essentially what happens if you find the right person in that industry, you know, they know and you can kind of convince them. And that's a, you know, that takes a bit of time, but you need that personal relationship to, to begin with. But you find the right person, they know all the other cement factories in India and America, and, you know, and that's basically the way you get things into the industry. It's not about doing advertisements, and it's about finding the, the right industry to start with, and I personally think the cement factory is perfect for the, the thunderstorm. Making the relationships, doing the demo, uh, and then supporting that uh, activity from from that point onwards, you know. So um, yes, I'm so I'm becoming uh, more and more actively involved with the thunderstorm. Very very excited about the thunderstorm generator, and also uh, very excited about the future research and development that we're, where we can take this technology to, because this is just the start. Okay. Okay, Lanson, how do you fit into this picture? So uh, it started about uh, a year ago when I uh, met Malcolm 
And shortly after seeing the technology and demonstrated in person, I started putting my contacts together. I've been in the renewable energy space, uh, in particular in Texas, in the utility scale solar, uh, in the renewable sustainable uh, space here for over 15 years. And I see the go-to-market strategy is two-path. Not only do we need to take a bipartisan political path and let people know that this technology actually exists and it's working and demonstrate it in front of them and validate it with independent scientists from Rice, uh, Texas uh, University, A&M as well, and show that not only is it working uh, and getting rid of majority of the pollution, but it's also increasing the efficiency. And to that degree, as we improve it, it keeps on going up. So there will be constant uh, improvements uh, as we make manufacturing uh, more efficient and we start doing mass manufacturing so we can scale larger. But also uh, we have demonstrated on smaller generators and larger generators. And in particular, what I'm excited about in Texas is attaching this to natural gas, uh, large scale utility generators. So we can make them uh, pollution free, uh, 99%, and we can increase the efficiencies to cover all costs and help uh, scale the technology and constantly improving the research and development and rolling out some of our other uh, products in the near future that Malcolm's been working on for quite a while. Great, great. So there's a large wide horizon in front of us here. So um, Kieran, so back to the manufacturing bit. Yeah. Um, so obviously this is a transition technology that can be retrofit into current technologies, which is why everybody is so excited about it. And it's kind of uh, an easy yeah. you know, fit into some more alternative energy. So can you tell us about what's happening? I mean, our, what part of the R&D sure. right now? Uh, the R&D has been going on for 10 years plus. So that's all, that's all working away in the background all the tests and validations, many of which I, I witnessed in the States, in Switzerland and, and London, and indeed there's new results out from India. So the R&D is continuing. Um, and uh, so that'll be a continued activity because there's so many applications to this. And in parallel, then uh, there's manufacturing um, for scale set up in India, and they're already setting up their facilities to actually meet the, the demands for the marketplace. So, and then with a strong base in London with um, combining all the different manufacturing processes. So that's very uh, stable and um, locked down. So, and then the center of excellence will be in India. And then as they reach, you know, total competency in what they're doing, they'll share out to the different continents exactly the manufacturing processes and techniques uh, to optimize the scalability of this project because it's going to go straight up and vertical. And uh, that's the next phase we're going to hit now in the next quarter next year. Brilliant, brilliant. So this truly is a global rollout. So we have you, you in the UK and Ireland and Europe and then Dubai. Can you talk about the... Well, of course, the whole thing is overseed by Strike Foundation. So, and I'm... I'm Technically, not the official <laughs> spokesman for the Strike Foundation because there's several people involved, and they've got a very, they're very good corporate structure that they're putting together. Um, but yes, yeah, so so far, my my uh, focus is, is is getting it into, you know, the the sort of industries that can really sort of make a difference with the transitional technology, uh, because each industry, it's got the thunderstorm's going to have to be refined for that industry. It's not just a simple process, oh, here it is, bolt it on, and you're good to go. You know, it's, it's, there's going to be, you know, uh, several con considerations there. Each, each industry is going to have to tweak it its own way, you know. So I'm very, very interested in being, you know, involved with all of that. I think we've got a great team. You know, it's not just us. There's other, you know, inventors, innovators that we're surrounded by. And, uh, yeah, I think we've really got the, it's the right time. Right. Yeah. 
And it's truly the goal I, and you know, everyone here and everyone I've met, and it, it's all about humanity. Yes. It's really not about so much the business end except to get it out. And that's what's really, really exciting. Yeah. The business end is necessary, but it's done with a spiritual backbone because this is a technology that will, for first world countries and third world countries, it'll transform economies and all the environment and stuff will just come calm down. So it truly is what better business to be involved with when you're actually improving conditions for mankind. And that's what excites me. So, uh, and it is great. Like Roger said, there's so many other collaborators and people getting involved. The right people are showing up at the right time in the right industries with the right mindset. And uh, so the, the, the power behind the thunderstorm and behind Malcolm to make this dream a reality, it's actually can't be stopped now. Yeah. It's a juggernaut. More than that. <laughs> Absolutely. Awesome. Lanson, did you have anything more to add to yeah, so with all the synergies coming into alignment, uh, as we were discussing that, this just feels like the perfect timing. And all of us coming uh, together here in Miami is a great symbolism for that. And really masterminding the next steps to roll this out, uh, to really let everyone know that the time is now. We need to move forward now. Uh, there's no more holding back. The demonstrations have been done. We need to do the demonstrations for more uh, scientists, more people within the U.S. We've uh, made the U.S. really one of the later markets that we would roll out, and that was a strategic decision. And I feel that Texas showing that not only can we reduce the uh, pollution dramatically, like 99%, but we can increase the efficiency. So with increasing the efficiency, it's not only cost effective, but it's doing two things in one. And I really believe that that leads to the bipartisan effort uh, that we need to roll this out. It's not a Republican or Democrat thing, it's a humanity thing. And we need to push together and realize that this is where we need to move together as a team, as a family. And this is what's gonna take us to a level uh, with implosion technology that's really God's gift. You know, I mean, yes, Malcolm uh, put the schematics together and the design together, but these revelations come to us from above. And there's God's gift to humanity is for this to roll out right now. And it is the time that we're ready to help uh, take energy to a level that truly can set people free from food creation to uh, infinite power for their homes to uh, cleaning up the air. Uh, the air pollution is real and breathing uh, better is something, you know, I'm really passionate about. You know, I've, you can talk about climate change and all these things, but it really comes down to how many people do you know that have like asthma these days? Everyone has someone in their family that's affected by breathing, and uh, God gave us our breath. So this is our gift back to help spread the word, to get this out to the uh, masses and roll it out in a strategic way that allows it to uh, spread vertically. And we believe that in the next year that this can be in every continent, and we're giving away ways that we can spread this and manufacture decentralized, even though we're going to be approaching this from a ma mass manufacturing, in particular of the spears in India, there's going to be many other uh, continents that we have decentralized manufacturing uh, so we can roll this out faster. And the momentum's like a snowball. It can't be stopped at this point. Uh, so that's why we can speak very openly about it now and not hold back. And a lot of people have been brave in getting the word out when it was still uh, somewhat risky because this is a very disruptive technology. And at this point, with the demonstrations we've done, there's no more denying it. The, the truth is out there. The technology does what we say it does, and it's only getting better. The improvements I've seen even in the last six 
to 12 months uh, are dramatic, just uh, making it even shorter. So it fits in a smaller package. So you can integrate this without using as much space and engineering uh, improvements like that will continue to be made. And we're just really excited about where it's going. Great, wow. Well, thank you, thank you gentlemen. Thank it's you. It's been incredible. I'm sure there's more to come very soon. Definitely. All right. Thank you. Thank you.